first movie I went to go see this weekend was Godzilla Minus One. It's your classic monster movie updated with the latest CGI and special effects. Plenty of scenes enhanced by going to see them on the big screen. The original Godzilla was actually an allegory for how Japan saw America and the atomic bomb once they dropped the weapon on Nagasaki and Hiroshima. You can see this theme continue in the latest iteration of Godzilla through the monstrous heat ray. However, they give it a more human touch than the original movie by following the characters' personal lives. They also cite historic events, making it a period piece. The most crucial factor in whether or not you decide to go see this movie might be whether or not you're okay with reading subtitles. The spoken language of this movie was Japanese. So the second film I went to go see was called Saltburn. It was described as a gothic thriller. I did not know that gothic thriller meant plenty of disgusting and gross scenes of bodily fluids. It did not really seem too gothic to me, nor was it too thrilling, and it was nothing like what the trailer portrayed. However, it didn't follow your typical storyline. There were plenty of twists and turns, and if you don't like things that tie up in a neat little bow at the end, this might be the story for you. You will see plenty of full frontal nudity, male full frontal nudity. The last movie I went to go see was called The Shift. I know movies and books have been stealing stories from the Bible forever, but it is pretty weird when they actually advertise it, especially when those stories are not Jesus-centric. The Shift is described as being based on the book of Job, and it is, sort of. Aside from the sci-fi elements that are obviously not in the scriptures, the movie is based on a Christian understanding of the Bible, which is not what is literally there if you read the book of Job, because the book of Job is in the Jewish Bible. For one thing, Satan is actually an angel up in heaven doing God's bidding, because nothing happens outside of God's will, and there is no such thing as fallen angels. So there's a completely different dynamic between good and evil in Christian mythology and what you see in Judaism. The shift, however, is pretty evangelical, and it is imaginative.